Hi there, this is James Tripp. Welcome to Hypnosis Without Trance. I want to share with you a very powerful, very significant, very important distinction. And it's especially important to you if you're studying hypnosis. And you're studying hypnosis because you want to be able to do hypnosis. Now the distinction I want to share with you is between having powers versus being powerful. Now let me explain what I mean by this. Many people coming into hypnosis, they come into hypnosis because they see hypnosis as a powerful skill set. They want to be able to attain that powerful skill set because they want to be able to do things with it. They want to be able to make a difference in the world with it. Now this is different for different people, the difference that they want to make. Some people want to be more influential, they want to be more impactful in their lives. And they get the sense that by learning hypnosis, by learning that way of communicating and that way of influencing, they will be able to better uh, impact upon people around them, influence people around them, and they themselves will, as a result, have more power in the world. Um, and I don't mean Machiavellian power, I just mean the, the power of being able to choose and create the life that you want. So this is one reason that people get into hypnosis. Another reason people get into hypnosis is because they want to have more power to influence people in helping them change their lives. So people that come in and they want to learn about hypnotherapy, uh, change work, transformative work, this kind of thing. So these, these two things, they're slightly different areas, but they're essentially the same thing. There's the idea that hypnosis is powerful, it's a powerful skill set. When you learn how to do this, when you learn how to, to use these skills, utilize these skills, you have greater power to affect the world around you. So in this sense, learning hypnosis is about, like, is about identifying a power, let's say, almost like a superpower, that is hypnosis. I'm using that as a metaphor, not literally. And learning that power, developing that power because you want to be powerful. You want to be more impactful. There are places in your life you want to make a difference. And it makes sense, right? If you, if you attain a special power, that will make you more powerful. However, having powers and being powerful, showing up powerful, walking through the world in a powerful way are actually very different things. And there's a strange paradox that exists within, um, within the idea of trying to attain powers to become powerful. And the paradox is this. Being powerful, showing up powerfully, comes from the inside out. It comes from how you show up in life. It comes from centeredness. It comes from certainty. It comes from being self-authoring, from knowing what you want and being willing to congruently 100% go for that. It's an attitude and a mindset and an understanding. A power, so to speak, is a skill set that you take on board from the outside. Now, here's the thing. The locus of the power sits in different places. When you become powerful, when you connect to your own power, from the inside out, the power resides inside of you. When you seek to become powerful through attaining a skill set or attaining something out there, something that has powers like hypnosis, then the power is always outside of you. The power is not inside of you. The power is in the hypnosis. The power is in the skill set. The power is not inside of you. Now I see this over and over again. I see people that want to uh, become more impactful, want to become more influential, whether it's in the, uh, in the uh, transformative work field, in the people developing field, or whether it's they just want to be more influential and impactful in their lives. They're learning these skills, hoping these skills will give them power. And in fact, they set up this paradox. The more they're chasing power as being something outside of themselves, the more they're reinforcing the idea that that power, that power to influence lies outside of themselves. This is not done consciously. This is not done with any awareness. It just happens. And you get people having more and more neediness to be able to do the hypnosis, to be able to be successful with the hypnosis, to be excellent with the hypnosis. And ultimately, it can do exactly the opposite. It can reinforce a sense of disempowerment at the deepest level. Now I find a lot of people when they're learning hypnosis they have fear of failure, they have fear of all this sort of thing because if they've gone to do the hypnosis and the hypnosis is powerful and it fails then it reinforces the idea that they themselves are not powerful. Again, this stuff I'm talking about, this is deep stuff, this is going on outside of consciousness. 
I love hypnosis. I really love hypnosis. I think it's brilliant. I think it's excellent. I think that I've learned so much from doing hypnosis that has empowered me in life more than being able to do the hypnosis itself has. Now, I'm not diminishing the skills of hypnosis because they are exquisitely useful. When you can connect to your own innate power, when you're able to develop your own, uh, own innate power, you know how to show up powerfully in the world, how to walk through life in a powerful way, how to be powerful from the inside out. When you know how to do that and you can connect to that fully and deeply, all of the skills of hypnosis, the communication skills and understandings connect into that and feed into that and create something deeply exquisite. But if you're just relying on those skills to do it for you, ultimately your power will be undermined. Now this is an important thing. The, the richest stuff that I've got from studying hypnosis is through the experiences of having to show up in different places. Now I'm talking about doing the street hypnosis or doing client work, having to show up in different places and figure out not only how to do the hypnosis, but how to show up in a powerful way, in a, from a base, from an internal inside out base where I can effectively influence those people. Hypnosis is a wonderful door. It's a doorway to understanding the human mind, to understanding human social dynamics, to understanding power relationships within human dynamics and within yourself, within your own personal kind of systemic dynamic. Now I'm aware that what I'm talking about here could to some people seem very out there and very philosophical, but if you get that, if you can get that distinction, that power, real power, personal power comes from the inside out. It comes from how you look at the world how you're unconsciously organizing the world, and that's reflected in the way that you walk through life, and it creates what I call gravitational influence. When you can get that that is distinct and different from developing surface level skill sets, which can be cool skill sets, but if in your unconscious organization you're placing the nexus of power within those skills and outside of yourself, if you can get that's a difference, and that latter way of doing it's gonna undermine you, then you're in a really strong position to step across a threshold. And it's to step across the threshold to understanding that real personal power, the power to influence the world around you, to influence your own life in positive ways, so as you can start shaping your reality. Real power comes from the inside out. It comes from how you look at the world and how you understand the world. This in turn, you get an emergent attitude and an emergent set of behaviors that come through this that just have you showing up in a powerful way. This is what I call, I've talked about it as gravitational influence before. And if you think about the, the sun at the center of the solar system, all the planets, they revolve around the sun because the sun is what the sun is from the inside out. Not because the sun is running some strategy to try and influence or persuade the planets to kind of circle around it. The sun just is as it is, and by its very nature, by its inherent power, the planets just drop into orbit around the sun. That's how powerful the sun is. This is what I call gravitational influence. It's real power, it's inside out power. That is having power. That is having power. That's being powerful. That's not having powers. The sun doesn't have magic powers. The sun just is powerful and has power. Now I'm aware that some people are gonna be watching this and thinking, yeah, okay, so how does that help me stick, uh, stick someone's hand to something or do a name amnesia or a number amnesia? Um, actually, at some point you'll find out that it really does because just being able to look somebody in the eye and come from a powerful place and tell them how reality is, is so much stronger than any particular configuration of words or whatever. But that's not the point. That's not the point. If all you ever want from hypnosis is party tricks, um, I think you're missing something really deep and really rich about what hypnosis has to offer. I already said in this video that hypnosis offers a doorway into a richer and deeper understanding of the human mind. That's your mind, that's other people's minds, and that's the kind of the hive mind as well, so to speak. So if you look at psychosocial systems and how you can operate within them to be optimally powerfully, that's the really cool stuff. That's the good oil um, 
when it comes to hypnosis. Cool, the party tricks are great. They're great training wheels. They're great things to learn about stuff. But I would recommend going beyond those and not seeing them as the be all and end all. If the stuff that I'm talking about right now is of interest to you, if you have a desire to explore that side of yourself, explore uh, creating and connecting to your own internal power base, the inside out power. If you're interested in doing that, I'd like to make you aware of a program that I have running. I'm very, very excited about this. This is the first, I think, genuinely transformative group coaching program that I have ever run, a six month program called Reality Shaper. It's about developing your own power from the inside out, gravitational power, gravitational influence. It's about showing up powerfully in life and how to become empowered to more effectively shape your own reality, shape your own life, lead the fulfilling life that you want to lead, becoming powerful to do that. Reality Shaper, as I say, it's the first, what I think is genuinely transformative program that I've ever run. It's gonna be restricted to 10 people only because each person will be getting individual attention. And the reason I say it's the first transformative uh, program that I've run is because that's what it's about, 100% going into your life, creating your inside out power, having you connect to your inside out power so as you can shape your life the way you want it to be, rather than me just giving you a bunch of information that you may or may not apply, okay? We're gonna be working hard within this program. And I wanna make it clear that if this is sounding interesting to you, this program is gonna be a, a high bar program, so to speak. So this program is not for anybody and everybody. If you wanna get on this program, we're gonna to have to have a conversation first because I wanna know where you're at and I wanna know what you wanna get out of it and I wanna make sure that you're gonna be willing to engage with it in a way that would deliver genuinely transformative results to you. This is important to me. I am not interested in running this program for any other reason than transforming the people who are on board it or having them transform themselves and connect to their own power. So if you're interested in this program, we will need to have a conversation. Uh, you'll find out information on this page uh, that you're watching this on as to what needs to happen for us to have that conversation. Um, other than that, if you're getting this, if this is resonating with you, then let's have that conversation. If you're looking at this thinking, what the hell is James Tripp talking about? I just want to know uh, how to do that invisibility thing. Then this program's not for you, okay? So check out the details below. Either you're watching this on the blog, in which case there'll be a link to another page, or you're watching this on YouTube, it'll be a link to another page, or you'll be watching it on the information page for the Reality Shaper Transformative Coaching and Mentoring Program. It's a six month program, deep personal transformation, 10 people only um, by interview and application. Uh, I think that's all I need to say. Um, interview and application, I'm not talking about some kind of job interview thing. It's just gonna be a conversation to make sure that you're right for this program, this program's right for you, and you're genuinely gonna get the transformation that it's important that you get to make it worth your while to do, okay? So if you wanna have that conversation, details below, follow the links, whatever, get to the place where you know how you can get in touch with me and we can have that conversation. Until we speak again, take care.